A few days ago, I got this question. Do you know how to take a still image and make it into a short iMovie video? I have an old high school photo with 50 people in it, and I would like to slowly zoom that picture from left to right. Is it possible? Yes, let's jump into iMovie. So here we are in iMovie. If you have a lot of projects and clips in your iMovie library, you may wish to click File, Open, and create a new library, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to call this one High School Photo and then click Save. So iMovie's created a new library for me with a new event under today's date. And then I'll click down here and drag my High School Photo and drop it into the Import Media area. So that is part of my project now. And now I'll take this photo and I'll drag it into the timeline. So I'm ready to play a movie. I have a movie now that's four seconds long. It's a still image. And if I want to adjust panning and zooming, I can click this crop button here and then Ken Burns, which shows me the starting frame and the ending frame. And that will take me from start to end over however long my photo is. In this case, my photo is four seconds long in my video timeline. And if I play it, you'll see that it slowly moves from the start position to the end position. If I do want to zoom in, I change the size of the frame. So this first frame is a smaller, so it's zoomed in on those folks. And the second frame is larger, so it slowly goes from a zoomed in position to a zoomed out position. In this case, what I'm interested in is clicking on crop. I want to start here, kind of zoomed in on the top row of people in my photo. So I'm going to start there. And then I want the end frame, which I'm going to click on here. I want that to be roughly the same size. And I want it to go here to the right. So let's see if we can make these two line up. Boom. So I'm starting at the left, kind of zoomed in. And I'm slowly moving to the right. Also still zoomed in at the same size. So instead of it looking like it's zooming in and out, it's going to pan, slide from left to right across the image. So if I do that, you can see that I'm now panning. So this is great. What I'd like to do next is I'd like to go from the top right and come downward so that I can see some of the folks in there. I'm going to copy this clip, click at the end, and then paste. And now when I click back on crop, you'll see that the first clip and the second clip are the same. Now that I'm focused here on the right, I'm going to click reverse so that this becomes the starting frame. And then I'm going to drag this item here second frame, the ending frame, to be a little bit lower so that I can see the people in the bottom row. And let's see, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. That looks good. And so now what I'm going to do is one more clip. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to click here, and I will paste one last time. So now this is the third clip. Let's zoom out so you can see my timeline a little better. There you go. So you can see that there are three clips on my timeline. This third clip I want to start at the bottom right, and I want to pan back to the left. So I'm going to click to reverse direction again, which makes this bottom right my starting frame. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to bring my ending frame back to the far left. And that looks pretty good to me. So I've panned to the left. Let's take a look at it to see how it plays. So I'm going to start here on the left. It pans to the right. That looks really good and then it slowly pans down, and then it pans to the left. That looks really good, except that panning downward is a little bit slow. So what I'm gonna do here is select the second clip, and then just drag it to be a little bit shorter, maybe just two seconds, or maybe even just one second and 15, 16 frames. There we go. All right, let's start again. And now we're panning to the right. That's good. The panning down looks pretty good and then we're panning to the left. So that's it. If I wanted to zoom out at the very end, I could select this clip, this last clip, copy it, and then paste it. And then for here, I'll click back on my crop and zoom. And so my ending frame is here, right? So let's go ahead and reverse that so that I'm starting here. And maybe for my ending frame, I want to just zoom out to show the whole darn photo all together. So let's include the entire frame at the end. And now what you'll see if I start here in the middle is I pan to the left and then I zoom out to show the whole photo at one time. And so that's how it works. If you found this useful, please click like. Keep the questions coming. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.